On this episode of Andy's Auto Sport TV, we're going to shift into gear and teach you all about short throw shifters. Then we're going to install one on our Project BMW and our Project Civic. Now a short shifter or short throw shifter doesn't actually change the height of the shifter lever in most cases. What it does is it changes the fulcrum point. Now the fulcrum point is the center pivoting point but where the shifter goes from the top to the bottom. What this does is this reduces the amount of distance that you have to move the shifter to go from gear to gear. Okay, basically, as you can see, there are a bunch of different designs for short throw shifters, but they all do the exact same thing, regardless of whether you're talking about an old school shifter that has uh, link arms and levers, or the ball socket type like what we're going to install on our BMW, they all do the same thing, they change the fulcrum point. Now, this particular example from Revo, we're going to install in our Project Civic. Now, this is going to replace the entire shifter assembly. The lever actually doesn't change anything. What it does is it allows you to move, raise or lower the shift cable on this arm, effectively changing the fulcrum point. And we're going to install this entire assembly in our Civic, and that's going to give us a shorter throw. Okay, the next example we're going to talk about is uh, the ball socket type shifter. Now, this is what we're going to install on our Project BMW. Now, this particular example from B&M basically has the entire shifter, and this goes right into the assembly on, uh, right above the transmission. This whole assembly sits down inside of there, and then you bolt the, the uh, shift arm back through this lever. This is going to change the fulcrum point and give us a shorter shift. Okay, now there's all kinds of different short throw shifters out there, as you can see by the examples on our table, but they all basically do the same thing. They change the fulcrum point. Now, there's another way to get a short shifter, and that's with a short shifter adapter. Now, what these do is, uh, I'm going to use this B&M for example, uh, some of the factory shifters have a ball socket on the bottom. What they have then is they have an adapter that bolts to the bottom over top the ball, and it just basically, and they have another ball on the bottom and extends it down. This changes the fulcrum point once again and gives you a shorter throw. Now if your transmission is a transmission such as a T5 where the actual entire shifter assembly bolts to the transmission and the fulcrum point goes down into the transmission assembly itself, usually these shifters are going to have shift stops. Very important that you follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to adjust that. The reason is if you don't, you have a, the likelihood of bending the shift forks. So those are on there for a very important reason. Now, for our Revo shifter on our Honda, this, what this allows us to do is we can actually change the fulcrum point on this so we can change the amount of throw that we actually have. We can actually go all the way down to zero like it's from the factory or go up to 40% shorter throw on the shifter. This we'll show you how to do once we install this in our Project Civic. Okay, when you install your short shifter, you can use your factory shift boot or your factory shift knob. However, this is a great way to customize the inside of your vehicle by replacing it with an aftermarket knob and an aftermarket shift boot. We have them all available at andysautosport.com. All right, now it's time to install our short shifters. We're going to start by installing our Revo shifter in our Project Civic. Okay, now basically what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take the shift knob off and I'm going to find out exactly how much throw our factory shifter has so we can compare when we put our new short throw one from Revo. So about four and three quarter inch is what our factory shifter throw is. The first step to installing our Revo short shifter is to remove our shift boot and shift console cover. Next is to pull the pin from the actual shift cable itself. Then remove the washer and the shift cable. This second one is held in with a pin and a cotter key. The next step is to remove the four bolts around the base of the shifter itself. Now the two cables actually connect to the front of our Revo shifter. One cable just slides to the side and the other one has a clip. Remove the clip and pull the cable through. Okay, now we have our factory shifter out of our Civic, and here is our Revo shifter. Now, as you can see, the factory fulcrum point is welded in place. There is no adjustment whatsoever. On the Revo, you actually have the ability to adjust this fulcrum point up and down. Now, this is probably at about 35% up, uh, 
over what it would be from the factory. We're going to leave it there. That's about where it came from the factory. We'll make sure that it all works. We can adjust this actually once we get it installed in the car and see how much better it makes it. The install of the Revo shifter is the same process in reverse. First, you want to replace the lines and the clips, then hand tighten the bolts around the base. Now the Revo shifter can adjust up to a 45% shorter throw. To adjust this, simply move the pin up or down. Up will give you the 45% shorter throw and all the way down will be factory. Once you have it where you want it, tighten up the pin with an Allen wrench. Don't forget to replace the lines and remember to pin them in securely. Okay, now that we have our shift boot back in place, we're going to go ahead and measure our new throw. So before we had four and three quarters of an inch, and now we have just under three inches, uh, about two and three quarters of an inch. So we knocked two inches off the throw of our shifter. Now, in the installation of this, we had to pull the console out. Sometimes you'll have to do that. Guys, when you pull consoles out, just make sure you don't force anything. There are screws that you can't find. In our case, there was a little pad underneath the, uh, in the armrest. Pull the pad out and there were three hidden screws in there. So make sure you do that. All right, now that we've got our Honda finished up, we're gonna go ahead and put our B&M shifter in our Project BMW. Okay, before we get started on our BMW, we're gonna go ahead and measure the factory throw. So we've got it in its, in its rest position. We can push it up forward a little bit further, but we're going to put it in its natural rest position, and we're going to get it as high, far to the top as we possibly can. Okay, now we're going to do this. And we're just a little over five inches, as you can tell. A little over five inches uh, from the factory shifter. Now we're going to go ahead and install our B&M and see what we get. Okay, now the installation on our Project BMW was very simple, but it's a very tight space, so it's real hard to film. So I'm basically just going to give you an overview. The factory shifter, which I have right here in my hand, basically slides down inside of another uh, long piece of aluminum that has this round hole in it where the shifter actually is installed. All you do to uninstall the old shifter is basically pull the rod out that goes to the transmission itself and then rotate this plastic piece a quarter of a turn and then pull it out right through the top. Now to install the B&M shifter simply slides right back down into the same hole and then on the bottom there is a snap ring that clips to the bottom. Then you reinstall the shaft and it goes right back in there. Very, very, very simple installation. Took about 20 minutes uh, and that's with the use of a rack. If you don't have a rack, add the extra time that it's going to take to put, you out, to put it on the jack stands. So we're all the way up into first gear right now like we were before with our other shifter. And our other shifter was just about five inches. So now we're going to throw this one. And we're less than three inches. So we cut uh, almost two inches, a little over two inches, off of our shift throw. All right, now let's take our BMW out and run it through the gears. All right, now that we've got our short shifters installed on our Project Civic and our Project BMW, time to go out and do a little spirited driving. It was a relatively short install. I know, you guys have been a great crowd. I'll be here all week. Popular brands that we carry are Blocks, Revo, and b and If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at andysautosport.com. We hope you've learned something today, and we'll see you on another episode of Andy's Autosport TV.